Whoa, I gotta try out this super heavy package from Mud Cat Whiskers. Very, very thankful that you guys sent this out. It actually looks like, uh, if I can cover up my, I'll cover up both. Looks like somebody ran it over, you know, crazy mail. It's the last day of 2020. I just wanted to get this out, kind of look at it a little bit. And then I will come back and do a, a more in-depth review. So let's open this bad boy up without, I mean, it's, I feel like it's right up at the top. It's insane how full this is. Look at it, coming right out the top. Don't even have to go in to anything. <laughs> So Mudcat actually said how they're handling customer service is they're doing hand stamped labeling. And whoa, look at that. Look at how cool that is. All handwritten. So cool. Um, very full. Man, you guys set this up. Awesome artwork. Look at that. Everything's different. Here you got some uh, Mudcats or we call them, I call them catfish. And then you got those those moths with the skulls on the back from the that movie, Silence of the Lamb. Whew, that's a scary one, man. There's a clock on there, Roman numerals. We're gonna get more on that in a sec. <laughs> just keeps coming, just keeps coming. Was that the same one? Here we go, here we go. How does that look? Whoa, two ounces, I believe, two ounces. Oh my gosh! I never, I never get anything like this. So this is, this is a, uh, this is a very rare occurrence, guys. Some matching oils right there with the child lock up at the top. Look at this stickers, stickers. I think this is the company to look out for in 2021. Stickers, business card, business card. Put, put all the information down below. Never gotten one of these before. A patch. I feel like if you get a patch, you can make your own hat. You ever thought about this? Like, like some of these hats are like 25 bucks. Here's a $25 hat right there, right there. Go down to your local swap meet, your local flea market. So to get a trucker hat, like, you know, trucker hats are in vogue right now. Slap this puppy on there. Mudcat whiskers, beard care. The clock thing, man. Some people think we're hitting the uh, 11th hour here. Um, very relevant, I must say. All right. I'm just going to take a peek at this one. See how that one smells right out the bottle. I find the best way to open these up is just to open them up. That, that stands no chance. Oh, yeah. What am I thinking, man? What am I thinking? Got to pack it like a pack of cigarettes. And I can smell this one. It's a very clean, I would say very clean. Right out the bottle, got that dark, got that darker yellow. So you know the ingredients in there. You got some good ingredients in there. They're not just, uh, they're not just the clear water looking ones. I'm curious, very curious. What does that smell like? Very curious. What am I thinking? It's been a little while. I checked out his whole website. So I was looking at different ingredients, different ones. There was like more, like too much to choose from. He sort of just like picked these ones out for me. He's like, hey, take a look at this. Yeah. First ingredients, jojoba. <laughs> awesome, very awesome. Look at this, guys, look at this. Whoa, whoa, look at all that. Everything matches that brown, that golden brown and white. That is, it's gonna look sweet up on the shelf. Trust the old paint can. All right, guys, we're gonna make a really quick short video here. Right, so I did a opening and I took out rain, but now I wanna talk about this new one called 
Boudreaux, that's a hard word to, uh, never seen that word, I don't think. So it means farmer. It's actually a common last name uh, for Southerners down south. This is a Louisiana company. I like this one, it has a double tree. I am a Gemini, by the way, so kind of ties in with that. I like when, I think, you know, I'm a package type of guy. There was a discussion about packaging. And uh, I think when it comes on the bottles, and this is the stuff that sits on your collection the entire time you're using the product, that matters. Um, you know, whether this stays intact, um, how, how well it just plays with your aesthetic and your life, I like that. This is great. This is a waterproof, stain-proof looking container. I love this color. It reminds me of like Timberland boots. Um, it does have that old worn look. So some of my stuff from, from a while back, before they got updated, were paper, la paper labels. And a lot of the paper labels have picked up that kind of weathering look. I like how this one's brand new. It will not weather anymore, but it kind of already comes with that old school charm. I like that a lot. So take a look at this profile. It is, so it has black salt, but it, I don't believe it's gonna harm your beard. Um, it has cypress, I think that's a new one for me. And it also has a little bit of bamboo, which is a wood, but actually a grass, and crisp rain. So the last one was a very fresh scent. Best way to get these things open is just to twist and the over it. Oh, easy. And oh, always gotta shake. Let's take a smell. All right, let's smell what the cypress rain bamboo smells like. <sighs> hmm, nothing I've smelled. Very pleasant. Let me see, let me get this out of the way. <sighs> out of the bottle, it smells, smells good, not too strong. Let's get that. Real yellow looking. So what I've actually heard recently talked about yellow, yellow tends to be more unrefined. So it's more, plus we'll get into the oils in a second. Actually, there's a reason why it would be more yellow. Oh, what is that spell? How do I describe it? Ah, hmm. It smells like when you go outside on a cold day, you're wearing your wool coat. Some of you won't get this because you don't live up north. Snows a little bit on your coat. You come in, and you might have a little bit of cologne on during the day. And just like that smell you bring in, that, that fresh air you bring into your house for that two seconds and you still are kind of cold, but like you can smell yourself because you're in a new environment. Does it smell like that? Let's get some on, uh, let's get some in the beard. Uh, I do like to get my beard damp before I put on oils, but for a review, man, I'm gonna have to get a second opinion on this one. All right, we'll cut this out. <laughs> I couldn't quite figure it out, so I had to get up my wife and I let her smell. I let her smell my hands and she said, mmm. And then, <laughs> and then she said, it smells like something I have. And now, now that she mentions it, it's true. There is more of a newer smell that I had and I have not used it enough. But she's like, it smells like one of your clones. The one that's like on the lighter side. Like it's, it's a, not like an overpowering clone. It's just, it just smells, you know. It's like, why? Uh, here's here's what's nice about going a little understated. Well, she also said clean, clean, and a uh, clean smell. So, yeah, if you're talking about rain, that would be that clean smell. Let's talk about what the oils that make this up. It's definitely a 2021 blend. Even though this company is not new, it's more of a newer company for me, but it's actually been around. I uh, looked them up. I'm like, whoa, there's been some uh, big reviewers that have already got to uh, got their hands on this a while back. So hemp oil, and I think hemp is just like, that's the future oil. To me, it just sounds like the future. Hemp, hemp is a great oil. It also just sounds like it's the next thing. It's the next best thing. Here's what's funny is I believe I, I've, it's one of those oils that is like, cause there's a gas called argan 
oil. No, there's a gas called argon gas, but this is argan, argan, argan is what it's called. But um, on, the, on the website, and I'll have to contact the uh, company, it actually says Aragon. And if you are a lover of uh, all things Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, then uh, I, I probably shouldn't say anything to the owner because that's just funny. Aragon. It's one of the characters. In, uh, very cool. Got this. And uh, got a matching balm. A matching balm for all you balm guys. Balm. It's the balm. Very cool. Let's see if I can get a, look how clean that looks. Whoa. It's like, is it in there? Is it in there? Very white, completely white. Hemp seed, I don't know if I said that. Hemp oil is giving this that uh, more of a yellow look. Very, uh, what is in this? All you need is a pea size. Shea butter, soy, cocoa, coconut, beeswax, fragrance. So there you go. This is a uh, beard and skin, beard and skin balm. Also got rain. So pretty much uh, like their classic logos. Right there, their classic logos. This is what the label looks like on the back. Um, black, I do appreciate the black tens. I think they just look great on the shelf. This actually has the ability to stand on my shelf just like that. And, but I also have to really give a shout out to this one. That artwork is just so cool. It's a clock in the middle. Yeah, it's a clock with a spider, probably like a black widow. Then you have the death moths going around. It's those moths that naturally have like a skull on their like backs. That looks so cool on the shelf. And I wanted to say this, um, some of you like to collect, like, you probably, if you're a collector like me, you collect a couple companies, and then also you collect from the same company, but, like, you have different bottles. And what I think is cool about this is, like, these totally match, like, 100%, but they're completely unique, completely unique looking. Some people keep their logos the same. Obviously, these ones are the same. The Mud Cat also... I think I'm going to have to do a research on this and I'm going to give you an update on the smells. Um, I believe a mud cat, we just call it north, we just call them catfish. So that, if I saw that, I would say catfish. And they got the long, long whiskers. I think those things can like, as far as I remember, they can get you with those. I don't remember how it goes. He's farmer. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, that's a piece size. And give this a test. Oop. It's like getting in between. If I put it down here, I could get it real quick. It's like getting in between my fingers and stuff. So it's got like a, I would say like a lighter smell. So yeah. Very nice, very nice. Probably just made everything uh, crazy. All right, yeah, go check them out. I think uh, you're going to be hearing a lot, a lot more about them. Um, they have some other scents that I'm, like, super interested in. They got one called, like, I believe, it's like Paw Paws, something like that. It's a tobacco scent. I think, I'll have to double check, it's a cherry tobacco, which that is the next thing I want to get into is a cherry tobacco. I know they have one with patchouli, and the cool thing about patchouli was everyone has like these scents they know of. A year ago, I had no idea what patchouli was, and it turns out I like it. And it turns out uh, it could be like one of those signature scents for you, you know, like it's different. And if you like it and you wear it, you can be stand out. You don't have to be like the same as everyone. People will be like, whoa, what's that? What's that? You know, you kind of feel good like you know you kind of know something that other people don't know it just you can kind of take like a take take some pride in uh knowing that you know some kind of a like a next thing like the next level of things so yeah those different ingredients that just everyone's not using uh, stand out so or the ones that everyone are using because they're really sweet like tobacco so 
Yeah, what is this one? I don't know if I'll have to... Let me check real quick. This one's called The Witching Hour. The Witching Hour. It is amberwood moss, vetiver, and notes of... This must be a little bit on the smaller side. Notes of patchouli, which are an uplifting with crisp air of bergamot and jasmine. Bergamot is sort of like a sort of like a citrus smell. Jasmine to round it all out. A little bit of floral in there to just kind of smooth it all out. Very cool. You can see the artwork very nice on the website. One thing about these, this is $14.99 currently. And the big thing, everyone's changing out grapeseed. No grapeseed in here. And what's crazy is normally grapeseed is one of those cheaper oils. No grapeseed in here. And crazy. It says new for 2020. I don't know what that means. If they changed their blend last year. This is only $12.95. So this is well below average. Well below average. So average, people were saying 15 more like 16 nowadays, 16.50. And this is under $13, which is uh, a steal. Yeah, it's gonna be a steal. So um, the oils in here, they'll sit on your shelf for a long time. You can be a collector, get all this. Let's see if I can do a pretty cool thumbnail. Whoa, <laughs> that looks pretty sweet. It's like I got the three hockey pucks in my hand. Yeah, I like that black. This is almost like a black bottle, black cap um, with a black tin. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much, Mud Cat Whiskers. Oh yeah, they got some they got some pretty sweet ones on there. Leather, Parish Blend, Unscented Skin, Papa's Pipe. Let's see what that one's about. A dark cherry to a dark cherry pipe tobacco, unlike any other. Sounds good. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. Monroe, that's the town below us. In, uh, in my town, in my city. Sophisticated notes of black pepper and leather and carefully crafted with warm woods, patchouli, musk, and citrus. So it's not your regular type of thing. Very complex scents. Very awesome. All right. I like everything I see about these guys. All right. Take care.